Okay guys, so today we're going to be mixing up a little bit and talking about adventure pants. And specifically pants that you can wear or that will help you with bushcrafting, survival, and being outdoors overall. And of course you can wear any pants, but today I'm going to be going over a few of the brands and a few of the designs that I particularly like to use and explaining some of the pros and cons to each at each price point. So we're going to start this off with the most budget pair of pants and then work our way up to the most expensive. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's start off with these pants that I've talked about many moons ago. And these are the good old classic uh, Carhartt Ripstop, Ripstop Cargo Work Pants is what car is what Carhartt calls them and these pants like I said are the most budget you can find them you know usually for around fifty dollars sometimes less if you get them on sale I know I've gotten some of these pants on rare occasion you know under thirty dollars but overall these have been for a long time my go-to pants when it comes to bushcrafting hiking uh, practicing survival just everything and the primary pros to these pants are one they're very affordable uh, in comparison to some of the other pants we'll talk about here in a little bit and they have plenty of room in their cargo pockets that's the really big thing for me is I kind of think of things in terms of if I can't fit a Baco Laplander in the cargo pants pocket I don't really like the pants um, and so being able to fit this Baco Laplander in either of these sides is really awesome. And it has a good reinforcement up here for a pocket knife, which is always nice. And overall, it just has tons of storage. And being Carhartt, all the, the pockets, including the cargos, are big. And something that I do love about the Carhartts is that not only do you have these two cargo pockets, but you have, you know, other little exterior pockets like this one, this one, this one and you know on this side you have this pocket so there's just tons of place to put whatever you need to carry on board these pants now those are my biggest pros to the Carhartt uh, ripstop work pants or cargo I should say cargo ripstop work pants uh, the biggest downside for me is the fact that these are just 100% cotton there's really nothing special to them and um, and so the problem with that is one, durability definitely suffers with these pants. I go through about at least, you know, whatever amount of pairs I go through, they last me about a year. So these are not the most durable uh, pants to have and to use, but they do work when, you know, they're in good condition. They work great and just fine. However, like I said, their durability is a little bit of an issue. In addition to that, they are not very flexible. So if you're doing things like rock climbing or, uh, you know, you need or you're doing more intense hiking where you're looking for having more flexibility in your pants, these are not necessarily going to be the best choice. They'll still probably work okay. However, I know rocks will shred these pants from personal experience. So if you're rock climbing, would not recommend these. But um, overall, they do okay at, at generalized outdoor tasks. And I can't complain, especially for the price. Uh, these are not a bad option. So if you're thinking about getting into bushcrafting or survivalism or you know, you're practicing survival, these are definitely what I would start with. And like I said, I've honestly used these pairs of pants. Like I said, I've gone through a lot of them, but I've used these uh, for a long time. I think about six years now, and I really do love them. I still own, you know, pairs of them. In fact, these are a brand new pair to replace, you know, last year's pair that are now shredded. Uh, so these are good pants. I love them, and I really don't have too many complaints. You know, there are things you can certainly do with them to improve them. Uh, they are not the most water resistant, but you can add things like Greenland wax or other different types of water barriers to help make sure make them more water resistant. In addition to that, you can also put padding in the knees if that is something that you feel you need. 
Uh, so yeah, these are the Carhartt pants. I won't talk about them too much. I already have a review on them, and they are great. One last thing I will say that I do love about them is, of course, Carhartt's signature, you know, work pant uh, hammer loop here. I don't really use it for hammers, but I think you guys have seen on dozens of occasions, you know, I like to throw a hatchet or an axe and hang it off of this. And this is a really great little nifty feature that, you know, most pants don't have. So anyways, those are the Carhartt cargo work pants. Okay, so stepping up the price chain just a little bit more is the 511 Strike Pants. Now, 511 does make many pants, but the Strike Pants in particular are, from what I can tell and from what I looked at, probably going to be the best uh, for bushcrafting. And I will say this to start off. I like 511 pants, however, I can very much tell that all of 511's pants, whether it's the Strikes or whether it's uh, the Apex, I think it is, or the others that they have, are definitely more suited to everyday carry and tactical environments. So if you're going shooting, you know, these are going to be a better pant option. Or if you're going, you know, or if it's just everyday carry or, you know, everyday life, these are probably going to be one of the best options. However, when you look at these from a bushcrafting standpoint, these are not necessarily the best. Now, I will say I do definitely enjoy them hiking, and I've found that they're pretty resistant to thorns, they're pretty resistant to rocks, uh, they're a very flexible pant, so this uh, material here, it's kind of hard to show, but um, hopefully you guys can kind of see here. Uh, but this material is pretty stretchy, and I definitely can tell whenever I'm wearing them that if I have to like clamber over something or climb something, these are really great because they allow my legs to have a lot of flexibility and a lot of uh, room to move. Whereas even the uh, pants that we'll talk about next are not quite as flexible as these. So I like that. I also do dig these uh, really large and really secure, like really wide, um, belt loops that these are very accommodating for a larger bushcrafting style belt the biggest downside that i have to these ultimately is the fact that they have they do have a lot of pocket space but their pocket space is a kind of weird way so the pockets up here you know your front pockets very roomy great you even have uh, little front pockets right here. However, like I said, these are cargo pants. And as you can see, the cargo pant pockets themselves, if I can show you properly, are very small. So if you look at this, and then I'll pull these uh, car car cargo pants here. And you stack them up against each other. They are in a little bit of a different place on the pant as well. But you can notice that, so this is the start roughly of the cargo pant for the Carhartt pants. So you can kind of see it's a little bit of an angle, but it is more straight when you wear it. So you can see that it's extending a solid two inches more than this cargo pocket here. So that's the uh, problem that I have with the 511s is in bushcrafting, you know, it's nice to have cargo, po cargo pants, but it's important to have cargo pants that have good or proper size cargo pockets. So that is the primary issue, I, you know, going back to the standard of, you know, will it fit a Baco Laplander? You can see that due to that inch or two discrepancy down below, this will not fit a Baco Laplander. So a little bit disappointed there because overall I really do love these pants and they are a great EDC slash hiking pant. Uh, they are treated from factory to be water resistant and they are very, very comfortable to wear for hours. So if you're looking for a good EDC pant, I highly encourage looking at these. But if you're looking for a good bushcrafting pant, unless you're okay with the smaller sized cargo pockets, I would recommend looking at the next one on our list. Okay, so now on to the last one on the list. And this is by no means a cheap pair of pants. These are the Fjell Raven Vita Pros. And I'm actually wearing the normal version of the Vita Pros right now. These are actually the ventilated version, but I'm going to be talking about both of them because whether it's the ventilated version or the regular version, they're both really similar pants. So they essentially do the same thing and I'll break down the differences. So these ones are a little bit dirty, still need to be washed, but 
These are, like I said, the Vita Pros by Fiel Raven, and these are probably my favorite bushcrafting and adventure pant. They have a similar composition to the 511s from a technical standpoint, but of course these are treated a little bit differently uh, to be weather resistant. And ultimately, the especially ventilated pro versions, they have these vents, you know, you can see here on the zipper, but they also have a not so much gusseted crotch, but the crotch area here is made out of a almost kind of, it's not quite neoprene, it's more breathable than that, but it's a very flexible material. So these are extremely flexible when you walk through the woods and when you're needing to move or, like I said, climb over something. Uh, these are extremely flexible for that. And in a similar way to the 511s, these are very thorn resistant, very water resistant, very mosquito resistant, which is great. Um, they just have better cargo pocket capacity. In addition to that, something else I did not mention about the 511s, and it's primarily personal preference, but on the 511s you notice that the uh, cargo pocket was much higher or much closer to your initial pocket, or your, I should say, normal kind of pocket where you put your hand. Whereas, just like the uh, Carhartts, the Fiel Ravens move the cargo pocket down more onto the, about the middle of the thigh, as opposed to having it kind of up on the upper part of the thigh. So, the Fiel Ravens are a little bit different, and they take a little bit longer to explain their differences. But one thing, and this is particular to the uh, Fiel Raven ventilated, sorry, the Vita Pro ventilated, is they have this nice pocket right here that's actually designed to work with Mora knives, but as much as I love the Mora knife, or Mora knives, uh, I actually don't generally carry them. So what this pocket usually ends up becoming is a really great place to pretty securely stow a Baco Laplander. So you have some options. You can throw it in this pocket, or if you're looking for it to just remain in a full pocket, your right side pocket on both of the Vita Pros is extended, and it's very long and actually very large. And so you can see that this thing will just you can see it has a very generous cargo pocket on this side that can, this side that can completely bury the uh, Baco Laplander. So if you're looking for a full pocket, it definitely has that as well. It also has a breakdown of you know having a side uh, pocket right here, or sorry, not so much side, but another pocket on top of the pocket for more equipment. Uh, this is where I usually carry like a multi-tool. We can carry some other stuff in there as well. Lastly, the other thing that I think is pretty cool about the uh, Fiel Raven Vita Pros is on both versions of them, they have, you know, adjustable bottom collars with little hooks down here to hook into your uh, boot laces so that your uh, pants will stay attached to your boots at the front so that you're not, uh, like, having your... so that your socks aren't exposed to any kind of thorns or anything kind of prickly. You also have these pretty cool loops up here too, but... Uh, that, that isn't too special. So the primary changes from the ventilated Vita Pros to the non-ventilated is that you lose this little pocket here, but you gain another pocket over here that's more built for carrying axes, but it can serve as a side pocket that is similarly sized to this one, and so if you don't want to run it for axes, you can, you know, once again put the, uh, Baco Laplander in there, or once again, it has the same styled pocket like this that you can throw your um, Baco Laplander into. So the other thing with the Vita Pro is it does this kind of mesh or neoprene-like material down here at the crotch, and they are not quite as flexible as the ventilated version, but they are less breathable, and they're a little bit more, the uh, non-ventilated versions of the Vita Pro, a little bit more resilient to thorns and sharp things out in the woods. So that's the basics to the Vita Pros, ultimately. I think that what I would personally recommend if I was trying to recommend some, you know, way or manner for someone to, uh, like, get really solid outdoor pants, uh, what I would probably recommend is to start off with some Carhartt, you know, uh, cargo ripstop work pants like these, and then wait until um, a size that will fit you of Fiel Raven Vita Pros goes on sale. Well, because, like I was saying, the pants you see here are normally $165 from Fiel Raven, but I actually got these for $75 bucks and in my size. So, 
I would say, you know, get something like the Carhartts, wait until you can find some Fiel Ravens, either the ventilated or the standard version, and get those because ultimately, in my opinion, having used quite a few different designs of pants and like makes, these are definitely some of the best pants you can find out there. They are very resistant to mosquitoes and they're very resistant to water. You can also treat them with Greenland wax and make them really water repellent if you so choose. You can uh, do just a lot with these and they have ultimately a lot of features, even features I haven't even covered in this video. So I would definitely encourage checking out the uh, Fjell Raven Vita Pros. They're definitely a solid bushcrafting and adventure pant. They seem to excel in just about everything uh, that you know the Carhartts don't and the 511s don't. So that's really all I have to say about adventure pants in general. And uh, yeah, as always guys, God bless and I'm out.